Okay. So, um, uh, no, first, first, let's talk about a few basic stuff. Okay. So, for example, when I say print, hello, right? And I say, okay. print, how are you? Right? So, when yeah. I run it, what happens? Uh, hello and mm. how are you will be printed in two different lines. Yes. But let's say you want to print them together in the same line. Right? Then how do you do? Okay. Okay. Because the sprint has an invisible new line character at the end. Okay. We're yes. putting the thing in new line. But I want to club them together. Okay. So, okay. So, what I have to do is I have to remove that invisible slash n or the new line character. So, I'm going to say EAP equal to black space. Yes. Uh, you know, so what happens when I run it? Now, the slash n is removed and you get all these things together. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And if I give a space here, there will be space between hello and how are you. Right? So whatever you give yes. there, then that is displayed instead of the new line. Right? Okay, sir. Okay. So, uh, uh, you know, apart from that, you know that we have discussed about, uh, okay, so uh, probably you will know the basic data types, right? Yes, so in basic data types, we have discussed about um, uh, integer, right? Float, yeah. okay, uh, bool, boolean, uh, string, okay, and okay. complex, okay? So okay. integer is when we deal with the integer values, okay? No decimal point, okay? okay? Integer values are without decimal point, okay? Then okay. we talk about um, uh, float. So float are numbers with decimal values, right? Okay. Float are number with decimal point. Then boolean are true or false only. True or false. Only true or false. And here in in Python, uh, true and false are written with T capital and rest small. Okay. So if I assign a variable A equal to, and I say true. Right, so this is how yes. I write T capital and rest small, otherwise, it's become a string. Right, so string yes. uh, alphabet it can have it, numbers and characters, things like that, but it is used as a string, okay, as a text basically. Right, yes, so if I have to find the data type, I'll say print type, but not the type, type, type of A. So when I say type of A, okay, that this is going to give us that data type, okay, and then let's yes, say, of course it will print on the screen. So when I run it, you get bool, right? So bool okay, is sir. boolean type, correct? Yes. Okay. So this has uh, is true and false. Okay. Um, then um, uh, string. Okay. So uh, in Python, the string can be written as uh, uh, values given in the quotation, right? Like hello, we did before, right? Now, yes. Python, Python allow us to, okay, yeah, uh, you know, uh, use, uh, yeah, you know, either single or double quotation, right? Okay, you can use double quotation or single quotation. There is no difference, okay? Python okay. allow us to use both. In fact, you can also use triple quote, you know, something like, okay, uh, how are you, or even double quote, right? Um, one, two, three, you say, I am here. Okay. So you can use okay. double, single, or triple single or triple double okay all these yes, sir. okay are allowed okay all these are allowed okay. to um string uh, to a string yes okay okay so this is also we we have discussed okay then uh, we discuss about formatting string okay so let's say if i have to print something like this um a equal to three 
b equal to 4 and c equal to 5. Now here you see, like uh, most of the other programming languages, you don't have to define the type before. The moment you assign the value, the type is, uh, is uh, you know, is assigned, okay? So I don't have yes. to say int a and then a equal to three. Okay, the moment I say a equal to three, it means it is integer. If I say, you know, b equal to 4.0, it becomes float, okay? I don't have to yes. redefine it, okay? So, and also the easy thing is you can change it because of so and reason. See, line number seven, I have b equal to hello. Okay. Yes. Line number 12, I'm saying b equal to four. So the value of b till line number 11 will be hello. And in 12, it becomes 12, sorry, it becomes uh, four because I have changed it. You can easily change the value as well as type of a variable. Okay. In Java yes. and other programming languages, you define integer, you can't change. Right? Yes. You can only change the value of a variable. You can't change the type, isn't it? So what we're yes. doing, but in Python, you can easily change the data type also. Okay. Now, if I have to print something like this, print, okay, uh, fixed content, the sum of, then I want to add a variable here, A, okay? So sum of A, okay. okay, then I say, and B, okay, is A plus B. Now, when you run it, what happens? The sum of three and four is seven. You you get it yeah. like, isn't it? Now, yes, sir. okay, so you get something like this. Now, Okay, so see here, we are using te uh, fixed text, then variable, fixed text, var variable. So we are closing the bracket, opening the bracket, okay? It can get complex, okay? So what uh, okay. Python has given us, a couple of options where we don't have to close and open, close and open. See here, we have to do it because we want to have some text value, then followed by the value of A. If I write A inside, it will print as A, not the value of A, correct? Yes. So it's called format, okay? So, so we have a some, uh, you know, uh, function called format. What we do is we, uh, okay, we will write it as a single text, okay? We write it as a, sorry. We write it as a single text, okay? Yes. So, okay. Okay, so here, value of A. Okay. So here you write dot format function and you provide a comma b comma a plus b. Okay. And here okay. instead you say curly bracket here. Okay. So wherever you want the values to be replaced, you put curly bracket, flower bracket. Okay. The so sum of curly bracket and curly bracket is curly bracket. So this curly bracket means we want to replace this curly bracket with a value of variable. Okay. Okay. So what we do here is, okay. So after writing this text, we say dot format. Okay. So format is a function and you have three curly brackets. So we pass three values. In Python, the counting starts from zero. The position of this is zero. This B is one and A plus B is two. So zero will go here. It, it does left to right match mapping. Okay. Left to right mapping. Okay. So here A, here B and here A plus B will come. Okay. So when you run it, okay. you get same answer you see here. Okay. The sum of, okay. Here at the end, that's where it is. Okay. So dot for okay. okay. Now, uh, this curly bracket also, uh, okay, uh, if you do not provide anything inside curly bracket, it does left to right mapping. But you can even okay. change the order. So I told you by default, order is 0, 1, 2, okay? But let's say okay. you want uh, B to come here. See, first curly bracket will be mapped to first variable. So first variable is A. So here A value will come, right? But we don't want to yes. do this variable. We want, let's say, B variable. Let's say we want to have B. So what I will do in this case is 
I'm going to say here one. Because if I if I don't give by default, it's taking zero, and zero is this value. So now I'm yes, going sir. to give one. Here I'll say zero, and here I'll say two. Two. So you can give this value as well. Okay. In case you do not want it to be in the same order, if you do not want curly bracket to be replaced with the order in which you give values to the format, you can give variable number as well. One zero two. Okay. okay. So what happens here? Here we didn't get three, but we got four because B is getting uh, replaced here. Second. Yes. One means second position. Right. So the, you can use this one as well. There is one more option where you know it says okay, let's make it even more simple. Okay. So instead of writing format, okay, you can delete this format. Okay. Inside curly bracket, you give the variable name a b a plus b. Okay, but if you okay. run it, you won't get the output. Okay, it will be displayed as it is. So what we have to say to Python is that this is not a normal text. This is not a normal text. I want to use this as a format string. So I put f here. Okay. I say F here, and when you run it, okay. So now you see the sum of three and four is seven. So to tell to the Python that you know I'm going to use this as a format, you have to write F F string, also called as F string or format string. F quotation, okay. And okay. Then within curly bracket, you put these variables. Okay, one second. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. So this this is these are the three ways. Okay. One, you have string value, string value like normal, or you can use dot format function, or you can use f string. Okay. So these are the okay. three ways to do it. Okay. Mm. You can even do format for um, text also. Okay. So in text, okay. we do what is called as left alignment and right alignment. You know what is left and right alignment, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, I know in CSS. No, no, not in Python, but at least you know what does left alignment mean, right? Yes, yes. You give 20 spaces and you have only five spaces to display. So whether those five space, uh, five characters will be displayed on the left or on the right or at the center, right? So we say left alignment, by default it is all left alignment. Okay. So let's say... Name equal to searching stream equal to Mumba equal to okay. So here I'll say mm. F okay, searching place for. And back as false, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, such in place of Mumbai. Okay, now let's say I want to assign 20% or uh, sorry, a 20 character to name, let's say. Okay, so how do you give 20 names? Okay. So here, what we have is here, okay, 
Okay. After variable, we say colon. Okay. And you give space and say 20. Okay. Now this space talks about what you want to replace. So when I say 20, 20 values, 20 values are assigned. But uh, okay, so but Sachin is only uh, six characters, six right? Value. Right. Yes. So what should happen with the twenty characters? Let's say I want twenty characters to be replaced with dots. Okay. Okay. So I will say here dot. Okay. Now. Um, a dot and I want it to be left or right or center alignment. I want let's say right alignment. You see, this is what happened. Okay. When I want if I uh, if I less than use yeah. So see the difference. Okay. 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 Let's say you want to do center alignment, means you want equal number of spaces to be left both the sides. Yes. Then shift this sign, um, six that you have, right? Upward arrow. Okay, okay. You do this. Okay. 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 This is how you can do alignment. Let's say you want blank spaces, then don't give anything. If you don't give anything, you'll have yes, to. Sir. I mean, this means uh, which I play, which character I place mm. there. Yes. That's so. Underscore. If you don't give anything, Blank space. Otherwise, okay. whatever you give, okay, I understand. Right? Okay. Okay. Then we discussed about this is called variable names, right? A, B, C. These are variables, yes, right? So there's some yes. rules in Python. You can use text, number, and underscore. Underscore is the only special character that is allowed for a variable name. You can't give blank space or dot or anything other than that. Variable name. Variable name. Starting from uh, character only, uh, but uh, only from letter or I, uh, underscore. So starting can be underscore or letter, correct. Okay. But if you have underscore, yes. then the next character has to be a character, can't be a number. Okay, so I can't say underscore one num. Okay. One. Okay, so if you run it, oh, it worked. Maybe the newer version, it worked like that. Maybe they must have changed in the version. Okay, otherwise, uh, no, generally what we say is, you know, you have to give something like this, but you can't start with a okay. number. This is still not acceptable. Now what? Yes. Okay. So yeah, okay. that's the rule that you have to keep in mind when you're assigning the variable name. Okay. Okay. Then um, one more concept that we have to talk about is called logical and physical line. 
okay so what does that mean okay so generally you know in in python we say that semicolon is not uh, used right yes uh, okay in uh, to end the line okay See, this is a line correct okay and this is also a physical line and also a logical line because yes. this entire thing is one line in python programming language and i have done uh, you know hit enter here so it has come in a separate line but let's say i want to put both these lines together physically there is only one line but logically there are two lines isn't it yes yes this is one line this is another line so if i run it's going to give me error right but i can use semicolon here no it's not going to give me error okay so python also okay. has semicolon okay just that okay. it's not required to give okay, okay. for some reason we yeah but we use the next line yes we use next line so python says if you are hitting enter i know you are going to next line then why do you have to tell put semicolon yes yes okay that's that's the logic okay 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 so so far we've been using the values um you know just like you know we are directly assign this value okay in the program but okay. you know that as a programmer that this is not the right way right we need to accept the value from the user right yes so for that we have a function called input so let's say i say input okay now python is case sensitive okay everything has to be small uh, letter only right until unless specified everything is small print is small int is small everything is small <laughs> sir please uh, please hold yeah yeah sure no problem please continue okay so saying that it has to be all in small letter right okay yes now you see when i run the program you get exit code zero okay so when you run a python program and when you get exit code that means your program has finished running okay okay and when you say zero exit code that means successfully your program has executed without any problem okay but if you see some other value minus 1 1 it means that your program is not successfully executed your program is finished okay but okay some error has occurred mostly exception has occurred okay so for example let's say i give the syntax error okay i don't give this closing bracket when i run it you see it has given error and you see finished with exit code 1 1 1 okay okay so it means okay your program has finished but it has some error okay but when you say exit code zero yeah. that means your program has <coughs> successful without any problem okay okay so that's about exit code now let's say i put input here okay now when i run this okay. input okay do you see an exit code no because input is a function okay which okay takes input from the user so it is waiting for us to enter a value okay okay input is a function which takes input value from user 
Okay. So let's say I entered. Hello. You want? You can see the value of num. So let's say print. Yeah. You can even num one, right? Sorry, not num. Yes. And you can even check the data type. Print. Okay. So here it's waiting, and I say hello, and you see, value of num is hello, and data type is string. Yes. Okay. So, our, so this is how you can assign a user input to the variable. Okay. 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 Now let first thing here. See when you run it, it is waiting. I have written the program. Yes. I have written the program, so I know that I have to input num one value. But let's yes. say somebody else is your user is running, and they cannot not, understand. Cannot understand. So you can give a comment. Okay. So input. Okay. You can give input like this, blank, without any parameter, without any value, or at max. Okay, you can pass only one per argument, or that is string argument, not more than one. Okay. So see, in print, okay. I can say. This comma, this comma, this comma, this like that. You can't give here. You can have to give only one string. Enter number one, something like this. Now, okay. So now, when you run, it says enter number one. So you know that as a user, oh, I need to enter number one value. Yes. You can give a message in input using quotation. Yes. Okay. This is how you can you give value to from terminal to yeah. So the user knows what to do. Okay. This is the first. Thing. Yes. Second thing is whatever value you enter, Python will always read it as a string. Okay, even if I enter a number, it's it it is read it as a string. You see here. Yes. Okay. The reason is, see, when you are asking the user to enter a value, as a programmer, or or let's say for a programmer, Python will not know what you want to enter. Okay. Python will not know whether you want to enter integer or string. How will it? Know? It will not know, right? So then, then we want to define that. You can somewhere. define it. Yes, we have to define it somewhere. But in Python, there is no way to define. Correct. In C plus plus Java, you can say integer a, int a. Yes, yes. So you know that value will be int only. But here, there is no way to define it. So what Python says is, string is something which can accept all types of values, whether you want to enter complex or boolean. Anything, yes, yes, float or integer, it can accept, but integer can accept only integer values. It cannot accept float values. It cannot accept yes. boolean values, right? So strings, yes, string can accept all type of values. But Python says, okay, let me read everything by default as a string. And now, if you want to you read it as a string, don't do anything. Okay, very good. You know, if you have read it as a string, we got a string. Good, well and good, but. If you want it to be something else, you convert it into that thing. So if I want to read it as an integer, I will convert it into a integer. So we have functions like int, okay, float, bool. You see the class name? Same class name. Bool, str, complex. Okay, these are functions. Okay. 
which are used to convert into that particular data type. So you can convert into a uh, string into integer. I will say int of, float of, bool yes. of. In this case, I'm going to use the integer. So yes. what I'll do, I'll say num1 equal to int of num1. So first num1 is um, a string. Now I'm converting number into integer and saving in number only. So number one value is not getting replaced with integer of itself. Okay. Now when I run it, I say 55. You see, value is 55 and then the type is int, no longer int. string. Because I wanted it to be integer and converted it into integer. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is how I can convert into string into integer, string into boolean, string into float using this function. Okay. So input is a function to read the values from the user, int is a function to convert the value into integer form. Okay. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, and uh, okay, indentation. Okay. In okay. Python, indentation is very important. Okay. What is indentation? Indentation is the space that we give from beginning when we write a line of code. If I'm writing this print, where is the cursor? Yeah. Okay. How many spaces you give? In C plus or Java, doesn't matter. But in Python, you cannot give even one single space. Won't I give one single space when I run it? It will give error, indentation error. Yes, there are ways when you okay. talk, talk about <laughs> loops and uh, 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 conditions. We'll talk about the, you know, how to give indentation. But so far, writing a the single sequence of program, we don't give indentation. We'll talk about it, when to give and what does it mean. Okay. 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 We'll stop here for today. Raju? Yes, sir. See you. Yeah. So we'll stop here.